what are some reasons that maybe you would not want to qualify with your spouse or significant other on a joint mortgage? Here's a few to consider. Number one, if one person qualifies for what you're looking for, they don't need your income, they don't need your asset, why tie up two people for one mortgage when one will get where you need to be? The second reason is maybe there's a different credit score. Maybe one person has a higher credit score, the other person has a lower credit score. Interest rates are so adjusted by credit score that if the higher credit score qualifies, there's no reason to pay a higher interest rate just to have two people on the mortgage. A third reason, there are some programs that you get better interest rates, better mortgage insurance, but there are some qualifying income limits. And again, if two people on the mortgage could put you out of those income limits and therefore out of those additional benefits. And the last reason that a lot of people consider, and it's a bigger reason for down the road, is when you qualify for a mortgage and then you wanna go to your next home, if you only have one spouse or significant other on the mortgage, the other person then can qualify for the next home and they don't have that previous mortgage as a liability. So it allows them to qualify for more while potentially still maintaining that departure residence. So lots of reasons why maybe you don't wanna be qualifying for the mortgage with your significant other or spouse. Let us know if you've got more questions.